All right, Shalom. First and foremost, of all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. The Bible of the Apostle is a great millstone. We're teaching us the more saying truth according to the Bible well and peace and blessings so afflict through the nation of Israel. Take through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. We're going to the Lord's uh, willing edifying lesson uh, titled The Weapons of His Indignation. You know, we're going to prove what that is today during the holy through the holy scriptures and those weapons you know those you know weapons you know weapons of war that the heavenly father is going to be using you know that's written in the scriptures are the intercontinental ballistic missiles that you see you know nations such as russia you know turkey south africa uh, uh iran you know, uh, 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 North Korea. You know, you see these nations uh, building up today. You know, these 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 things, these weapons of mass destruction, the weapons of the Heavenly Father's indignation. You know, are found right here in, in the scriptures. You know, uh, uh, and, and we're gonna prove that. You know, we're gonna get a couple. You know, I, I've been watching. You know, a lot of brothers have been going into this topic. You know, even you know we were going in that camp, and also you know I was. Ch t uh, tune in to other camps they were going to this multiple camps were going to this topic so I wanted to bring it out you know through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shine Lord is one of those lessons edifying this is uh, Jeremiah 15 and 13 because the wrath of the Lord Yahweh by Shema Shine so the Lord you know is is very angry His because of his wrath it shall not be inhabited what 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 is this that shall not be inhabited. It's talking about uh, Babylon the Great. It's talking about uh, America. America shall not be inhabited. You see? Let's get that in Isaiah real quick. Which we're going to be jumping around, you know, here in Isaiah, there in Jeremiah, you know, kind of get, you know, this is um, Isaiah 30 and 16. Uh, verse 17 Isaiah, Isaiah 13 and 17 Behold I will stir up the Medes Which are the Russians Against them against Babylon Because the wrath of the Lord Because the Lord is angry How America has touched the apple of the Lord's eye Which shall not regard silver And as for gold They shall not delight in it Yeah so they're not going to be able to come up with any uh, uh, Policies or any uh, uh, You know agreements between each other you know, no type of payoff is going to be able to appease the wrath of the Heavenly Father, which is going to use the Medes, which are the Russians, you know, to be stirred up, you know, to come up against America. It says their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity upon the fruit of the womb. It says their eye shall not spare children. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the, the, the beauty of the Chaldees' ecstasy, you see, and we're going to get that in Jeremiah, shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. You see, and Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed by fire and brimstone from heaven, which, you know, in these days, you, know, you can liken those onto the fire and brimstone of those ICBM nuclear missiles. You see? So, uh, you know, and Russia's not going to have any mercy. They, they don't care about you, uh, you average peons here in America, you know, which you can see that while they're not with this whole alphabet agenda uh, that they're pushing. You see, it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation, neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there, you see. But the but wild beasts of the desert shall lie there, and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures, and the owls shall dwell there, and the satries sat satries shall dance there. You know, so pretty much Babylon the Great, you know, is which is America is going to be wholly desolate. The Lord is going to stir up, you know these russians you know these nations with these uh, uh other nuclear capability you know to shoot their arrows their missiles the weapons of the heavenly father's indignation upon america you see this is uh jeremiah 50 and 13 again it says because the wrath of the lord's host it shall not be inhabited babylon you know it says it shall be wholly desolate we just read that 
these heathens ain't gonna be able to hear be able to set up shop you see that's arabian they're not gonna be able to set up shop it's gonna be holy death and the lord's gonna lay upon it this and zachariah the uh, uh the line of confusion you know you can just look up line of confusion and you brothers can find that scripture it says everyone that goeth by babylon shall be astonished and, and his at all her plagues they you know they're gonna be amazed it's gonna be wholly desolate you know because uh, this this babylon has been a golden cup in the lord's hand you know all these nations have likened their society you know built follow the ways of babylon you know liking their empires on on the skyscrapers the way they build their cities you see it says put yourself in the rate against babylon all ye that bend the bow a, a bow is a weapon of war the the weapons of the heavenly father's indignation shoot at her spare no arrow so those nations with the nuclear silos and the nuclear you know that holds the missiles they're going to shoot at america and they're not going to spare any arrows they're going to use all their artillery to be shot upon babylon the great it says for she has sinned against the lord you know so the lord is stirring up these these nations, you know, to come up against Babylon. Who's going to lead the charge? Uh, Russia. Um, this is uh, jumping down to verse 25. You, know, you keep reading through, but let's jump down. It says, the Lord have opened his armory. An uh, armory is a weapon locker, you know. And have brought forth the weapons of his indignation. So the weapons of his indignation, the Heavenly Father has brought forth. For this is the work of the Lord of hosts in the land of the Chaldees. And we just read that. Babylon and the beauty of the Chaldees, right? Shall be when as when the Most High overthrew uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. So these weapons of his indignation, you know, let's get uh, one more. This is um back in Isaiah 13. I'm going to get to this in Isaiah 13 again. This is Isaiah 13 and 5. And it reads. It says. They come from a far country. Yeah. Uh, what, what what comes from a far country? The intercontinental ballistic missiles. You know. Nations that are. You know. Their weapons are likened onto arrows. You know. Uh, and what? An uh, arrow. You know. Cannot be shot from one end of the earth onto the other. So what? What comes from a far country? These arrows. These these missiles, the weapons of the Heavenly Father's indignation. You see, it says they come from a far country, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation. So the Lord, you know, the, uh, they come from a far country. You see, the, you know, these are the pieces being brought together. It says even the Lord and the weapons of, of his indignation to destroy the whole land. It's going to be to destroy the whole land. Babylon, you know. Is, is, is going to be wholly desolate. You see? This is all talking about America. And, uh, and, and biblical prophecy. You know? And it's likened onto a weapon. Of the Heavenly Father. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32. Actually. Um, so I'm going to get one more scripture. Dealing with the arrows. Before we go to Deuteronomy 32. You know? It's, you know we're dealing with the arrows now. Then we're going to deal uh, with the sword. The sword of the Heavenly Father. You know, uh, this is 2nd Ezra chapter 16, which are all weapons of war. The weapons of his indignation, his righteous anger. 2nd uh, Ezra 16 and 13, it says, For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. You see? His arrow that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss. So these arrows, these missiles, you know. The, the spirit of the Heavenly Father is going to be on these uh, uh, missiles to not miss it, to hit their targets. All these uh, missiles, their nuclear warheads inside them, are going to hit their target. It says, it shall not miss when they begun to be shot into the ends of the world over here into the Western Hemisphere. This is the end of the world. So the Heavenly Father has opened his armory. And he's brought forth the weapons of his indignation. He's brought forth his bow and arrow. And what else is the Heavenly Father going to bring forth? You know, he's going to bring forth a, a, sheet, a sword. You know? Real quick, let's um, 
Let's get Deuteronomy. You know, we got, we're going to hit the points and we're going to close out. This is Deuteronomy 32. And um, jump straight down to verse, you know. This, 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 this is going to deal with the arrows and the sword as well. This is uh, Deuteronomy 32 and uh, 41. If I wet my glittering sword, you know, this glittering sword. Let me get, um, let me get another Bible app. It's like, yeah. I want to get this in Psalms, the seventh chapter. Let me see. Um, I believe it's a uh, verse Psalm seven. Yep, and twelve. Let's hold that. This is uh, it's like Deuteronomy thirty-two and forty-one. It says, "For if if I wet that word wet means to sharpen my glittering sword. This glittering sword." Speaking of the nuclear missiles, and my hand take on hold on judgment, I will render, meaning I will give that's what that word render means to give vengeance to my enemies. The enemies of Yahweh by Shemawa Shai, starting with Psalms 83. You know, you can read that, and we'll, 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 we'll starts with you, Edomites, you see, and will reward them that hate me. You see, this is the plague that the Lord shall smite all them that have fought against Jerusalem you see this is the plague that's coming you see it says I would make my arrows see these are the arrows again drunk with blood and my sword shall devour flesh there goes the heavenly fire sword those are weapons of war those are the weapons of his indignation it's going to be drunk with the blood of you heathens. And two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that are left here in America, you know, because of your disobedience. <laughs> you didn't catch the bus. You didn't make the plane ticket, you know, which are the chariots of the Heavenly Father. So-called UFOs. It says, and that with the blood of the slain of the captives from the beginning of vengeance upon the enemies, you know, so those are the weapons of the Lord's indignation. Yeah, you know, this is um Psalm seven, and um, Psalm seven. Let's start at verse eleven. For yeah, Yahweh judges the righteous, and Yahweh is angry with the wicked every day. If he turn not, he will wet his sword. He has bent his bow and made it ready. He has also prepared him. The instrument of death, he have ordained his uh, arrows against the persecutors. You see, so this is what Yahweh Shemuel Shai is is preparing. You know, against those the, the wicked. You know, he's he's reserving them unto wrath. You know, the Lord know how to deliver the godly out of temptation. You know, and how to uh, preserve those. You know, for the day of punishment to be judged. You know. Let's get um, Isaiah 34, you know, dealing with his indignation, his, the weapons, you know, these, these weapons that Heavenly Father has that are able to destroy whole land masses that he's preparing for the wicked. You see, Isaiah 34 and um, 5. Um, yep, we'll go straight to the point. We're going to start at 4. It says, And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved. And the heavens shall be be rolled together as a scroll. Those those mushroom clouds. And all the hosts shall fall down as a fig falleth from a tree. You know, it's talking about uh, those missiles. You know, and when we see a, a fig fall, you know, from a tree, it comes, it, you know, it just doesn't drop. It, 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 you know, it, it's an arch. It says, for my sword shall be bathed in heaven, the sword of the heavenly father shall be bathed in in heaven you know you can read that in revelation i believe it's nine the untimely fig you know that's how those missiles are going to fall down you know from the heavens you know it's a uh um bay it's going to go into the, the outer you know into the out the utmost of the heavens right and it's going to come down what it says it shall come down upon i do me i do me is the greek way of saying edom you see, so it's going to come down upon the Idumius, the Idumius, uh, 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 these, these Edomites, you know, 
and, and, and where, where is their chief place of dwelling today? America. And upon the people of my curse to, to judgment, the sword of the Lord, which is those missiles, is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats. For the Lord have a have a sacrifice in Bozers, read that, you know, and, and a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. You see? So uh, a, a sacrifice, you know, you people are gonna be burnt up. You know, all this is just the weapons of the Lord's indignation with that. You know, Lord's willing, you just want to get out, get into that topic. Lord's willing, you're edified with that. I'm gonna say shall